welcome. And we're about to do our boat checks. So the first thing that we're going to look at is a single sculling boat. And we have it the wrong way up. So we can see the hull, um, which this is the hull, and this is the bit that's going to sit in the water. So what we are going to look at to make sure that there's no damage to the hull, because if there's any holes in it or knocks in it, it might take on water um, and then you could get into trouble when you're out on the water. So you can see this boat is in really good condition and there's, apart from a little bit of dirt, there's, a, there's no problems with the hull at all. And we would go down it very carefully looking at it all the way around to make sure there's no damage and then also where you have other bits coming in. So here you can see that there's the, um, there's the extra slightly different shape here and we need to make sure there's no damage around here at all. And then if we go down carefully, um, we eventually come to the fin and all of the boats have got a fin on them. Uh, so it sticks down here like this and it's really important again to make sure that that is properly attached there's no damage to it uh, so that it works properly when you're in the water uh, and in a minute we'll go and have a look at another boat that's also got a rudder on it and see make sure that that's working properly but on the single you obviously don't have a rudder so that's the first check and now we're going to look at the inside of the boat So now we're looking at the top half of the boat, so which again is really important. The first thing we're going to look at is we're going to look at the bow ball. So this is the bow ball here. Uh, it needs to be intact and it needs to be firmly connected to the boat, otherwise it's not going to be very good. Um, and then we're going to go down. This, this here is called the canvas, uh, bow canvas. And you can see again, we want to make sure that it's properly uh, joined onto the hull. Uh, that there aren't any gaps or splits and that it's, in, it's going to be watertight for you. Um, now we come to, this is the cockpit here, which is the bit that you as the sculler will sit in. And the first thing that we're going to look at is the hatch cover. So this is the hatch cover. And if I take it out here, uh, you can see that uh, there's a hole here and this provides buoyancy. So if your boat turns over, then this air, airtight area will make sure that the boat stays afloat. So it's really important that the hatch cover is properly attached um, and, and locked down. So it's very easy to not quite do it up or to do it up a little bit on the skew. So we just need to make sure that that's there properly work and working. We now have a seat which is sliding and what we want to do is make sure that that's sliding freely because again when you get out on the water you don't want to find it suddenly jams and then you, you can't move anyway. Um, and now we come to the rigger which is where the boats, where the blades go into. Um, so there's several things we need to look at on the rigger, however it's attached to the boat. The first thing is to make sure it's properly attached and it's very firmly there and actually I can lift the boat up by the rigger so it's properly attached to the boat. Then we also need to make sure there's no damage to the rigger because sometimes they can get knocked when you come in alongside the landing stage or in the boathouse and then it can give you a weak point so we need to make sure that they are okay. And then we have the swivels that are on the pins and there's several nuts here at the top at the bottom and then in here as well and we absolutely need to make sure that they're all working properly and that the swivel can move round freely and also that we can lock this bit down because when you put the blade in you want to know that it, that's going to stay firmly in there it's not going to come out so all of those tests are done and now we come to uh, two very important things to look at and that is on the shoes so this boat here has uh, first of all it has heel restraints and what that you can see I'm pulling them quite hard and what's happening is that there's a tape underneath it and it's making sure the heel doesn't come up too high and that means if you do capsize you can get your heel out quickly and the other thing the other safety feature that we have here as well is um, there's a quick fastening mechanism across here with velcro and I can just pull that like that um, and then again get my feet out really quickly so that's important this is attached to a foot stretcher and we need to make sure that the foot stretcher is straight in the boat both sides are the same but also that it's securely fastened to the boat so all of the nuts there's quite a few on these around here 
there'll be ones underneath here then there's ones here as well so all of those need to be in good order and they need to be securely tightened we have another um, hatch cover here which um, again needs to be make, make sure it's in and that is the whole of the stern canvas of your boat is a flotation area so it needs to we need to make sure that that's in there properly and then as we come down the final bit is looking again at the canvas and what you can see is that this is all in really good order uh, and there's no holes in it so it's not going to be a problem at all so we also said we'd look at the rudders on the boats and um, here you have a, quite a large single uh, sorry triple sculling boat um, and you can see it's got a very big rudder on it uh, we need to know that it's going to move freely um, but in it's moved by someone with their foot um, and because the boat is big, it move, it's slow moving, so it needs to have a, a big, big rudder on it. Uh, but that's really important to check before you go out on the water. Okay, and also um, the direction that you're going to point your toe is generally the, is the direction that you are steering towards, and you need to make sure that your rudder is properly connected to the foot to enable you to go in that direction. other fins which are on racing boats so they're much smaller and they're generally now nowadays behind the uh, behind the fin uh, so you can see here that it's in line it's quite small um, and again we need to make sure that it moves freely um, and down here there's a direction showing you whether it's straight or not uh, and, and there'll be a foot attachment to this in order to move it uh, if you look down on this bottom boat, you can see an even smaller, um, an even smaller rudder. And what's really good about this having it behind the fin is that you don't actually need to move it very much for it to create quite um, a turn on the boat, especially when the boat is moving at some speed. Okay. So here we have a set of oars and we're going to just make sure that everything is working properly on the oars. So um, these ones are adjustable, not all the oars are. Um, so you need to make sure that all of these screws are done up tightly, that there's no movement there in the handle at all. Um, we need to make sure that the shaft isn't damaged in any way at all. So this is the shaft here. Um, they, you can get uh, problems where if, if you have something heavy falls on it or it hits something then um, it can have a crush injury and then it will then it will fail the other bit that's important is round here so we have a sleeve here which again needs to be nice and tight on the, on the shaft and then this is a collar which needs to be straight so we don't want it at an angle and it needs to be nice and tight um, so that it doesn't move when you're out in the boat and then finally, if we come down to this end, we have the spoon and we need to make sure that the spoon is in good order, that there's no damage to it, there's no holes in it, um, or sometimes these can delaminate a little bit. Uh, so we need to make sure that there's nothing loose on them at all uh, and that that's connected firmly to the shaft as well. So that ore is in good condition and uh, it will be fine in terms of us using it. Okay. So there we have our four oars all ready to go and we've checked our equipment. Yeah, you know, Thank you.